Hey, what's going on? Todd Shaw with another episode of The Sawdust Dude. What is it? What is it, Lassie? Is Timmy in trouble? <laughs> no, hey, no, Timmy. Your DeWalt lighter saw stand won't close. Stay tuned. I can help you. Hey, welcome back. Hey, before we get started, have you subscribed to my channel yet? Why not? Can we talk? Let's talk. What's up? I need your help. Please, please, please. <laughs> hey, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I really would appreciate your support. And uh, like those videos. Keep checking us out. But in the meantime, you've got DeWalt miter saw stands. Why? Because Santa knows. <laughs> so you got a problem with your stand. It won't close. I'm going to right now in the screen below. You'll see what brand or what model miter saw uh, stand that I'm talking about here. But uh, I have had issues with this stand before, not because of the stand itself, but because of, once again, employee issues. Let's talk about employee issues. My therapist tells me that if I talk about these things, that I'll get better one day, and I believe him. I really do. So anyway, <laughs> I will. So anyway, the miter saw stand is just basically controlled by two levers. Uh, you've got the one switch up here. This first or upper cable controls it from here. And that's what keeps the stand together. When that pin comes back, you can see that locks it and that keeps it in the collapsed position. Now let's talk about the, uh, the other issue that I've had. Uh, I use this in my micro shop, but I also use it in my van. Now when I load it in my work van, uh, I put this in, in first, slide it in a little bit, and then come over here and this little base here makes for a great handle to lift it up and slide it on that in. Well, usually on pulling it out process, you have to be real careful with this bar right here because when you're pulling it halfway out, if you stop, it'll hit the edge of the van and bend this in this way. And so it'll have a bow. And that's usually the problem that I've had when this will not collapse back up and I've had issues with it. It's because this is bent. Now, you don't want to take a hammer to it or anything like that, but I have taken a scrap piece of oak, a hardwood, slide that in here like this, and then you can gently pry out wherever the bend is. You know, you just pry that out from in here, and you can kind of straighten it back out. And so that you gently uh, get that back straight again. Now this part of the, of the saw or the miter saw stand, this is kind of like the Achilles heel of it all. So when you unload it or you're loading it up, be real careful that you don't keep bending this like on a monthly, weekly basis kind of a thing because metals have um, an elastic limitation. In other words, it'll only bend and straighten out so many times and then it'll get real brittle and then finally break on you. So take this piece right here with extreme caution, okay? So now let's talk about when it doesn't want to close. So from in here, I'll just drop it all the way down. You know, to get it to open, I mash this in, or press it in, put one foot here, grab the handle, and lift up. Now, this bottom pleat piece typically comes with this cover, and I just removed this off for the demonstration purposes, but it just snaps right on, and so you can just pop that right back off. If your stand won't close, there might be an issue with the cable. Make sure that, that everything's securely fastened, okay? Here's part number two, and this kind of slides back and forth, and then you've got these two little tabs that go in and out and lock on this center bar. Now I'm gonna raise this up just a touch from in here. You see how that silver piece slides back and forth. You have to make sure that that's functioning properly because that's what allows it to lock into here. Okay, so those tabs go in and lock in that first tab. Lift it all the way up and it rests back down. So make sure that that's working properly. If this is not moving properly, that means you have a cable issue. And like on your old 10 speed bicycles, there's a way to tighten that cable on this end and also up here on this end here by adjusting these screws. 
and putting more throat in your cable. Look for me here. If we lift up, mash that in, and it slides on down. But this thing always goes up and down too quickly because this stand is heavy duty. They also, DeWalt's put that gas strut in there. It's kind of like you have on the back of your minivan doors. Those uh, struts wear out. You know, it'll cause that thing to move up and down. But my experience with this stand, it's a great stand. If it won't close, this has been my issue right here because this was bent and those two tabs right there wouldn't line up with those two little locking devices on there. Well, listen, I hope this helps you out. And uh, thanks for watching the Sawdust Dude. Make sure that you, uh, once again, subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave a comment. I want to hear from you. And appreciate it. And thanks again for watching the Sawdust Dude. I'll see you soon.